2022 Weather Authority Forecast with Ryan Martin. Welcome back. Ryan Martin with us now to talk weather. And uh, I know rain chances have been the story all week. Are mm -hmm. more of them on the way? Well, tomorrow's going to be great because, you know, the rain's been on and off this week. And we've loved the weather. But it's going to be nice to have that one day where you don't have to prepare for yeah. there to be rain. And it's Earth just, Day. I, absolutely. Perfect. See, it's perfect, right? <laughs> Let's pull up the health index. Still seeing a moderate chance of tree pollen. This changed from yesterday. Weeds low, moderate for mold and flu. A and B viruses both mo low to moderate. This all courtesy of Dr. John D. Bray. Now pulling up the almanac for today, we were just one degree below average today. High of 80 degrees, low of 55. That was above our average of 51 degrees. Right now, though, temperatures in the high 60s throughout the basin. Very nice outside and going to be seeing uh, wind speeds at 8 miles an hour. Good amount of moisture in the air, but expect a pretty dry one tomorrow because we're not going to see too much cloud coverage, at least in the northern and central basin. Temperatures seeing 68 in Carlsbad, seeing 79 in Presidio and high 70s in the Big Bend Mountains. Also seeing low 70s in Pecos but you're seeing mostly 60s throughout the rest of the basin. And these temperatures are going to be very similar tomorrow. Expect high 70s, low 80s, just about everywhere in the basin. And then Friday, a similar situation, high 70s, low 80s. So expect this to be the trend for temperatures the next couple days. But next week, temperatures could be in the high 80s throughout the week. Uh, across the state of Texas, a cold front moving through East Texas, 73 in Corpus Christi and Brownsville, 67 in Houston and seeing 60 in the Dallas Fort Worth areas. Now, in terms of uh, the satellite radar, most of the thunderstorms we've seen are moved into the Louisiana, Mississippi area and along the ocean. But here in the basin, we have some storm cells, some very small ones, though. And we'll see a chance, a very small chance of rain and thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow along the border, but that's about it. Everywhere else is going to be seeing some pretty clear skies. They have a cold front moving through the uh, lower portion along the border that's also going all the way into East Texas, giving them some rain and also giving them some lower temperatures and some pretty high winds as well. And we'll show you that in a minute. But right now we're going to look at the humidity, seeing a good amount of moisture out to the west, but also see, or to the east, I should say, but also seeing a good amount of moisture in the west thanks to this humidity, giving them moisture, giving them chances, small chances of rain, and even giving them them some pretty good winds as well. Big Bend, 17 miles an hour, 23 or 23 in the Big Bend, 17 in Presidio, 12 miles an hour in Marfa, and then 23 miles an hour out in the Guadalupe Mountains. But where the cold front's not affecting, northeastern portion of the basin still calm in Big Spring and also calm up in Seminole. And highest wind gust today got up to 35 miles an hour in the Guadalupe Mountains, 31 in Marfa, 25 here in Odessa Midland, and 22 in Presidio, 23 in the Big Bend. Temperatures for tonight going to see some pretty nice temperatures. Uh low 50s throughout the entire northern basin and then going to see low 80s tomorrow, 79 in Hobbs. That's the only area in the northern basin that's not going to get into the 80s or doesn't have a chance of getting to the 80s. Gale also 79 for a high there. Central basin, high 50s tonight, so a very beautiful mild night in the central basin. And then tomorrow, low 80s, some high 70s in Garden City and Cope Ranch, but expect mostly high 70s throughout the entire day. Trans-Pecos, high 50s tonight, then the mid 50s in Red Bluff, Pecos and Balmorea. Then not going to get into the 50s in Dryden. They're going to stay in the 60s tonight. 81 in Sanderson tomorrow, 83 in Dryden. So actually quite cooler for them. And then the mountains tonight. Valentine, 47. Marfa, 47. Everywhere else, high 50s, low 60s. Then tomorrow, back up into the 80s. Uh, in many places, Brewster, 85. And Presidio could get up to 89 degrees. And looking at the seven day forecast, clear skies tomorrow in the northern basin. Then going to be seeing a small chance of rain on Saturday, about a 20 uh, 20% chance. And then high 80s all next week. With tomorrow being Earth Day and 80 degrees, no excuse not to get out and celebrate the Earth. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. We'll Definitely going to do some it. some time outside. <laughs> all right, Ryan, thanks for that. Well, crazy weather here. Dust devils, three dust devils touching down during a sports event in China.